Hello there. This is Malik and welcome to episode 11 of my Tactical Breach Wizards series. Um, we have a perk point to spank on our necromancer. Uh, me 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 the picture of a necromatic, yes. Definitely not a necromancer. Definitely a necromatic. That's, they're completely different. It's a, it's a, it's a gun. With it's wizards and skulls and... Green, green is kind of like... Like, it's either green or purple, right? Necromancers. Their color. It's green or purple. Like, I feel like if you're a necromancer, you're gonna have glowy green things or glowy purple things. I don't know why. I don't know why that's... That's just the rule. It's, I don't make the rules. That's just the rules. So green is appropriate. Or purple. Um... Big head. The skull is wider, make it easier to hit more targets. That's not always a good thing when you have friendly fire. Dizzying. Applies unsteady to all targets hit. That would be fun. More defenestration. And then extra damage. Drowsy. Sedated to all targets. I thought that was... I thought that was all. Throw a flask that leaves everyone in a one tile radius sedated. So I guess it's just an extra sedated. Unsteady to the central target. Extra, extra unsteady, basically. Damage. Death Door's kind of cool, but we've already spent a little bit on that. If it gets pushed into the tile in front of the portal, it will pull them in. Not if they walk into it. If the protectee is an enemy... What? Or the victim is an ally, your use is refunded when the transfer happens? What? So I suppose you could set an enemy as the protector and the en and an enemy as the victim, so all you're doing is transferring wounds around to maybe harm someone that's out of sight. So you shoot one enemy and they're protected and it transfers to another enemy that's kind of awkward to get to and then they die? Or something? I, I, I don't know. Kind of weird. Moving things around between your allies as well, like someone's about to get hit, but you could move that wound to a, a tougher ally. I guess. Hmm. If the victim is an enemy, they gain one unsteady when the link is created. It's a lot of unsteadying things. It's, it's kind of cool. I think dizzying might actually be where I go with this. Because unsteady is, is good. I'm doing it. Dizzying Gary. Gary the Dizzying Skull. We we like this. Um we've not really got anything to unlock at the moment. We've got WizTac, WizTac outfits, which all work quite well. Yeah, let's move on. Oh. It's just a nice bar. So they're heading to Kalan? That's gonna be a problem. Why? Why? I mean, it's hard to do that accent with just one word, I guess. There's no legal way in or out. We don't- we have no contracts there. And have you seen the news lately? The capital's on lockdown with riots. Laws are suggestions. Uh, chaos is cover. That leaves Liv's team exposed. This will be the first time they're cut off from their military support. Sounds like they at least have a safe house. Foreigners just vanish in Kalan. Shouldn't we hang back and let them run that risk? I... Uh, I can't. I'll understand if you don't want to risk it, Jen. But this trail, Liv's team, the, the war, it, it leads to... It's the only thing I've been sure of in years. I've been in a bad place, watching the world burn from a couch, paralyzed, seeing every problem I'll cause by trying to be a part of a solution. I can't go back to that, knowing I had a chance to act. Alright, I get it. 
I always like the idea of throwing caution to the wind and make a difference. But now that we're here, I feel like I'm 96% caution by body weight. But I can get there, thanks. I was never out. Oh, okay. What's the plan? Ask me again at breakfast. We just like that bar. I think once you found a good bar, one that you can get on with that sort of melds. Oh wow, what, what's going on? <laughs> oh, it's it's another dream, I guess. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's why is and and your okay. Whoa, this is new. <laughs> I, I don't I don't get what's going on. Why is why is she? Why is she a witch and not a, a necromatic? What, what, why is because the the voice color the voice color is what? I mean, I guess it's just a different version of her rather than the the necromatic. But okay, why am I dreaming about talking to myself? Oh God, am I self obsessed? Well, now you're dreaming about talking to yourself about yourself. So that hasn't helped. Given that we're both criticizing you, though, I think this might be coming from a place of insecurity. Everything we've done since the age of four came from a place of insecurity. When I narrowed it down, not until we clear these rooms. Ugh. Because the cops represent my self-censorship or some shit. No, it's just a kind of uncomfortable having a long personal conversation in a doorway. Oh, you get used to it. Oh, wow, okay. This is a... You're in an anxiety dream! Yay! <laughs> these dig into one character's story rather than progressing the main plot. If you're not into that, you can skip the dialogue and not miss any main plot details. If you want a shorter, snappier campaign, you can skip these missions entirely from the menu. You don't miss out on any XP. You can also jump back and play them later from the missions menu. I got it. So basically, we've got... Dudes. Well, at least we've got the, the broom thing. I guess that's useful, because otherwise we're going to be fucked. That's his breach. I guess I can zap around and I don't know. No, because that's not gonna. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I want to take over the gun. I think the gun definitely. What's this? Green zone. Got to complete the objective by moving everyone over there. So we've got two broom breaches. So we can move once into. There, and then once into there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run in there. I'm going to do a broom breach. Broom breach! Oh, wait. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Oh, I'm going to chain a shot. No, I'm not. I'm going to go here. Damn it, how do I get to that? I just bounce off that, but it's a wall. This isn't fair. How am I supposed to do this? Wait. Oh, I could come through that, and then... Yeah. Eh! Yeah. breach. Whee! Whee! Yay! Um... Ah... Uh, sometimes it's nice to go Whee! Trust me on this. The problem is I can't actually get to there, because the moment I do a broom breach... Hmm... It's actually really awkward, isn't it? I guess what we can do... Is a broom breach there is going to... Let me, let me test something, so I'm going to rewind this anyway. Um, broom breach through there. So I think that isn't in line with the gun. <laughs> yeah! Okay, so... Q. 
pew, pew, pew. And I suppose in the same vein, I can just chain bolt to that and then to there. And then to that one, because why not? Let's smash some windows. Wee! Where, 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 where? Am I being dumb? Why does not seem to actually want to shoot me? I mean... Okay! Blap. It's pathetic, but I can then sort of move there. Gale grenade can then just not do much actually. One's gonna get, yeah, you're gonna, I should then again, hang on, wait, actually, yeah, they get shot first. Okay, yeah, yeah, so you, they get shot first, so I don't have to actually do anything. I kind of feel like that's about all I can do. I could double gale grenade that guy out of the, the window, but I, I, I feel like that's, uh, Let's, let's, let's just do it. It's a shame I can't knock that guy out through a window. It's actually really awkward that I cannot do that. It disappoints me on levels that are hard to explain. I guess I could blap him and then use a gale grenade on him. That's a thing. That's a good thing. There's a grenade coming up there. It's gonna shoot that. Oh, but now he's changing targets? Well, that's not cool. So he's now going to get taken out before we do. Yeah! Whee! The system works. And we've got to smash windows as many as possible. Damn right we do. Yeah! Oh no. We were supposed to defenestrate things. I'm always insecure. It never made me dream about talking to a clone before. What's different tonight? You tell me. Wait, are you doing our therapist? Are you doing our therapist? This isn't about me. 
Oh my god. I'm never telling Robin of my dream self roleplayed him. Yeah, best to hide any abnormal thoughts from your therapist so he'll like you more. That's probably the play here. Alright. You're dying to tell me. Why tonight? It's finally sunk in. That you're never going home. You'd built an identity for yourself there as a PI. You clung to it. Now you're wanted in the DSR and an illegal alien else anywhere else. Hard to see how you're ever going to get another license to go snooping in people's affairs. I could do it off book. How would people find you? Word of mouth. Whose mouths? They'd be mouths. I'd found mouths. I want to stop saying the word mouths. Yeah, it's, you know when you say mouths too often and then the word mouths doesn't sound like mouths? It starts sounding like mouths, mouths, mouths. Doesn't sound like the word mouths anymore. Like mouths has no mouths meaning mouths. <laughs> Maybe I can make cheese. Illegal cheese. Yes. That's your plan. Yes. I wouldn't say being a PI was my identity. Last time Daryl brought in a mouse, you opened a case file. <laughs> you, wear your, you wear your license when you go for coffee. And Banks is the first person you've met in a year without telling them you're a PI. Only because she was in the middle of murdering someone at the time. Even then you give her a business card on the ferry, I remember. Let's just get on with this. Okay, Jen. You got you got that dude, and there's a there's definitely a dude here. That cannot be sealed. That door cannot be sealed. How rude is that? That's like that's like really really rude. Do you know what I mean? It's like super rude. Like the rudest, the rudest of things. There's a lot of fuckers around actually. Well, if I just charge in, and I just blap him through a window, that's that's gotta be a good start, right? I don't like the fact that we can't stop these fuckers. But we can knock them through windows. So we do have that going for us. Oh jeez. There's a lot of fuckers. There's a lot of fuckers here. Don't like it. So I could static blast him out through a window. That's always a good choice, right? I don't think I can chain bolt without hitting myself. That, that would be, that's a bad thing, right? So let's defend a straight him. And then just fucking leg it. Like, how, how far do we have to leg it in order for legging it to be a successful thing? Like, what's his movement? I don't know what his movement is. Apparently, it's about three. I'm okay with this. What if I didn't move here and just blap it? Oh, I can't blap him because I've run out of blaps. Running out of blaps sucks! move here. Oh, that, that's a lot of, of sort of closing inniness. Hey, Jen, what, what are you, what are you going to do now, Jen? You, could, you, you see, you could knock him that way and then defenestrate him later, but I kind of feel like there's, um, you can't solve all of your problems by throwing them out of a window, but you kind of can, you know? Can I actually... No, I cannot. No, I cannot. But I could Gale Grenade him. I could Gale Grenade him. If I Static Blast him... This Zen could go around there and knock him out of the window. It's an already broken window, so it's not as cool. Um, but I feel like it's, it's, it's cool enough, you know? 
So he he can he can go and, and, and no 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 let's undo that let's let's move instead. Come on, Jen. What you gonna do? I think that might be it. Oh shit! That's... Oh boy, there's a lot of people down that corridor. I mean, I can static blast. I can chain bolt them. I mean, he's gone out the main door. That wasn't quite... It wasn't quite the cool move that I was hoping it would be. I'm just gonna run away. RUN AWAY! And you... You can go out a nice fresh window. You, you get the fresh window. I feel like there's definitely a uh, flap him through a window situ <laughs> situation. Do we actually have that upgrade? No, we don't. Hmm, oh. this is actually a tricky one because we kind of don't have other options. We don't really have other options, I'll have you know. I do that and static blast him out of a window. That was good. Um, but then they're gonna go around there and blap. So that that's kind of rude. What happens if I just chain bolt these fuckers? And then just. Like broom breach. Whee! That's another broken window. I like broken windows. We're using up our consumables. That's the only problem with this. It's not the most efficient way of doing this, I'll, I'll be honest. But I kind of feel like, um... Okay, so we, we are defenestrating people reasonably well. I can gale grenade them. I mean, I feel like taking a hit is probably okay to get the, the good stuff. <laughs> this guy's just like, STAY FUCKING STILL! What? I'm pretty sure I... Did I kill someone? Oh, there's literally a dude there. I, I killed that dude. Damn it! Oh well, never mind. Defenestration is good, but uh, apparently... Uh, uh, not, not, not ultimate. It's like, yeah, I didn't, didn't manage that. Oh! Hmm. Oh, it's another thing. Eh. Why is my headphone cable so stuck? How did it get so stuck there? Oh. You're panicking because you don't feel like a PI anymore. And you need that identity to feel valid. Oh, we're just getting right into it. 
There's a hole in your heart where your self-worth should be. And the job is just the latest ill-fitting thing you've tried to stuff in there to keep yourself functioning. Can you be Robin again, please? I like my insights with a little more compassion and a little less accuracy. I can't give you that. I'm the only person you have no compassion for. Ooh! Damn! That was biting! And Steve Clark. And Steve Clark. Come on. I'm asking you for compassion right now. And I don't know how to give it. All I can do is fixate on all the ways you're lacking. Pretty fucked up. Hey, imagine if you treated anyone else this way, except Steve Clark. No, yeah, I got the lesson. I'm just taking my time failing to internalize it. Can we do something less stressful, like beat up angry strangers to stop them sounding a nameless alarm in my mind? Sure, don't see any unhealthy symbolism in that. Okay, these are these guys definitely want to do, do the whole alarm thing. Finish by the end of turn three. Hmm. Where is the alarm? I mean, there's there's a lot of them, and they're all over there. I mean, the fact that they they all just want to alarm. No calls for alarm. Nah. <laughs> No windows here to go crazy through, so I'm just gonna charge in. Because they all just wanna sound the alarm. They don't they don't wanna do anything else. There's a turret there, that'll that'd be fun. That'd be great fun. No windows in there, so I'm gonna have to breach. You know, there's, there's windows there, but they're kind of they're not external windows, so they don't they don't count. So if I blap him, then blap him. And blap him. It, it moves him slightly closer, but but maybe maybe that's a good thing? Question mark. He smashed through the breach door. That's actually kind of cool. Well, I like that. Yeah, I'm not so keen on that. But we'll, we'll, we'll accept it. See, I could go in here and then teleport over there and start blapping. It would require an amount of breachiness, though, wouldn't it? this actually get that gen to do the breach then this gen can charge in there do a broom breach and do a static black nope do a broom breach to the slightly further away window. The angle might be good enough for us to black that guy. I mean, I could definitely just blap him. And then I guess Gale Grenade? Gale Grenade should be, should be fun. I'm just gonna be okay with that. Definitely not gonna achieve what I wanted to achieve.
I just move into the doorway, can I do more? I suppose I can. It'll get me, um, angles? Slightly better angles? Um... Like, I could definitely, um... Like, static blast him, pushing the guy behind him away. But maybe, if I do a gale grenade... Like that. And then another gale grenade. Why doesn't that guy electrify to death? Oh, he just got stunned. Oh, okay, I mean, that that's also acceptable. And then he, he dies. Oh god, there's a turret. I just didn't kind of click that there was a turret. I should have clicked that there was a turret, really, shouldn't I? It's a thing. What if I moved to there? And then did a gale grenade. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm just gonna QP that guy, and then guess I I. Will he get there and that, that's it? It's it's kind of a game over. Turret is a bitch. But I'm gonna take a hit. It's a turret. It, it, it's, it's mean, but it's not... Like I'm kind of getting close to taking them all out without the fucking turret. That's better. That's more like it, you know? I mean, I don't even need to do that, really. Just kind of move here, and blap him like that, but it's like, eh? Oh wow, we've really gone over the time, haven't we? Okay, well we're going to call that an episode, and we will continue with this little internalization of anxiety later. Until then, cheerio! <laughs>